What's happening, party people? In this video, I am still in the New York City area. Now, right now, I'm back home in the Cincinnati area, and I'm heading up to Pittsburgh to troubleshoot a car, then getting myself back to Cincinnati tonight. So, I'm getting ready to go outside, and it's cold. I think it's 30 degrees. Get my winter tires off of Lucille, put them on Panther, swap those wheels out and then i'm gonna head up to pittsburgh area now, i'm gonna try to stop through columbus holler at my boy freeman maybe we can have a late lunch or something like that but uh that's what i got going on today now in this video i kicked off the video working on a thermostat man i really want to encourage you guys to stop using aftermarket thermostat it's just too risky I've never seen a car overheat with the Volvo thermostat. Even when they break apart, those things are made in a way that is just safe to use. So, you know, anyway, consider that and uh, protect your engine on that. Let me go ahead, mix this video, get my wheels and tires replaced so I can get out of here, get there in a decent time. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. When you're drilling in metal, you want to go nice and slow. That's how it gets its best bite. And put you some oil in it. Not sure if that's deep enough, but it's close. I'm going to put some vice grips on there, see if I can turn it off, break it off. Whatever you do, do not let nobody hammer on these thermostat bolts because the housing under them is pretty thin and they crack that. Now you turn a 40-minute job into a six-hour job. For some reason, I can't find my vice grips. They're around here somewhere. So I use these 10 snips put it down on the head of that thing. These things bite really good. I'm really surprised at how well they bite. And I hit this thing and I grabbed it and it twisted right off. So now that means I was deep enough on my drill job. See, it didn't even affect that other thing. Get my magnet, get this screw out. Oh, those screws are not magnetic, they're aluminum. So I need to pull that screw out. I don't know why that leaked because it's supposed to be empty. And it leaked on my carpet. I need to grab that real quick. Another thing I noticed that we're making a good call on this radiator because that coolant has leaked overnight onto this bag, which means coolant's been leaking out on the ground somewhere. So it is time to do this radiator and having a hard time getting one today. May have to wait till tomorrow. No, it's not an old OEM thermostat. It's an aftermarket thermostat. Been leaking a little bit. Man, uh, I just don't play with aftermarket thermostats anymore. They're not worth it. So I get try to get this thing out of here. Uh, Clean that up. Put the Volvo stat in there. I do never want to put a thermostat in there that can lock up, overheat the car. Don't do these. Whatever you do. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, try not to get no metal down there. Put vice grips or pliers on that. Uh, even though it's rusted, it may come out. But looks like I'm going to have to put some PB blaster on there. Also looks like somebody put some gasket material on there when they put that last thermostat in, which is never necessary with the Volvo one. 
But yeah, that looks bad. That's rusted. I'm going to try to spray something on there and get that out of there. And there it is, folks. All done. 10 millimeters in there now, boy. And the bolts that was in there is aluminum. These bolts have some metal in them because I could pick those up with the magnet. Let's get this timing belt cover on, serpentine belt on, and take a lunch break. And to put the serpentine belt on, somehow we got the wrong serpentine belt. 98s has never had that serpentine belt. Not sure what that's all about. Let me put the timing belt cover on. I put that mount in there, getting ready to put that bracket on with the new bolt. I got the new proper bolt here from FCP. And around here somewhere, let me put my gloves on. Find that bolt. Got that mount bolt back in. That bushing is not in there the right orientation, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put this timing belt cover on, then put this firewall cover cowl in. Then I'm gonna work on replacing the heater core and then getting this radiator out. Then I'm gonna get out of here. It's trying to sleet outside. My Milwaukee shop vac to vacuum up most of that stuff in that debris field. And I'm gonna brush this off real quick and put this back. Got that all back together with the windshield wipers on. I need to check the driver's side windshield wiper. It looked like it's a little too low, so I may adjust it. Just got to cycle the wiper blade through one time, see where it lands. I'm about to put this thing on. This is the part number for the right front on the s and 70. It's different from the 850s, and it has a big RH there, right hand. Whenever you're trying to decide right hand or left hand on a car, you decide that from sitting in the driver's seat. Just in case you was wondering. The mud slap on. The skirt in. Just need to get that 10 millimeter securing pin there. That shouldn't be a problem with everything else secure. Kind of like extra nut. Let me see if I got one. Radiator out. Waiting for the radiator tomorrow. We're going to call it a night. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.